Hi, the Smota shutters to your Wi-Fi switch module. In this video, I will show you how to add a few lines of code to Tasmota and make Tuya Wi-Fi modules work with your motorized shutters or rollers. This hack will work on single rally versions too. Basically, we will make some changes to counter functions. You seem interested, so let's get to it. Welcome to my YouTube channel Green Eyed Explorer where I explore further and beyond about tweaks, hacks, electronics and house repairs. Tuya makes several home automation modules. Many of the modules use a variant of ESP8266 module which is what we want. The reason is Tasmota which runs on ESPs. Some of these modules have an AC line connected as an input to it. Tasmota at the moment does not support detection of AC voltage line as a button or switch. As I develop simple, fast and useful solutions, I will show you where and which lines of code we should add into Tasmota to make it work with AC lines. This video might even serve for a new and better Tasmota with some of my ideas. Well, the Tuya model we will work today with is MS104B model. There is also a module for non-European markets. Check the links on my homepage and in the description below. I'll unpack one of them. So, it comes with a nice manual showing how to connect it and how to use its dedicated phone software to use it. It even works with Amazon Alexa. But as I hate sending information to unknown foreign servers, I will upload the Smota and even modified it a bit to serve my purpose. I've removed a fast mounting bracket. First see how it looks like. The package states the maximum output is 2 times 1100 watts, but the rallies inside state 2500 watts. Let's check the connections. The left two N and L are for the power supply, S1 and S2 are AC voltage inputs and L1 and L2 are corresponding outputs from relays. As we are hackers we will use a back entry. Some tiny screwdrivers are necessary for lock picking. You can see this job makes me troubles. I admit this specific module was hard. Others opened really fast. At the end push electronics from the front. This one is really stuck. You might take advantage of the side hole too. Let's take a closer look of electronics. There are two relays, some side passive elements below and our point of interest, the ESP Wi-Fi module on the left as an add-on board connected via 7 pins. You can see there are even some useful holes at the bottom of add-on board. We will flip module around. We can see there are no optocouplers, so we swim in dangerous waters. Hardware pinout. Here is the module again. The picture I've made simplified it all. The mentioned pins beneath the ESP are following. And the 7 pins connector is on the right side. This is the scheme we will need later on. To simplify it even further, here's a collage of all important pictures. We will connect the USB to serial adapter to all the pins under the ESP except the reset pin which is marked as RST. The IO0 pin will be connected to ground. Tasmota counter functions. First let's open Visual Studio and open the latest Tasmota folder. In the Tasmota subfolder where all the source code files are located, open myuserconfig.h and the xns01 counter.ino which is located towards the bottom of the list. We'll firstly edit the config file. It is advised to uncomment the override file. Its name is here. 
but for the purpose of this video I will add overrides here. The important here are use shutter and use counter. Another lines we can change here to speed up the process are the following. Wi-Fi SSID name and password. A few lines below you can enter your MQTT server IP if you use one. And the line I often change is telemetry period. The reason is I try not to saturate my Wi-Fi. Well, you might look around and change other settings too. Save the file and go to counter.ino file. I'll uncomment the first line so we can see the code clearly. Add these three lines. Stop time variable is used to prevent unintentional triggering. The author line is always a must have. The counter overflow counts zero crossings when we press a key. In a 50 Hz AC current we have 20 triggers. So in a one quarter of a second only 5. If you have 60 Hz AC you'll have only 4 and a bit of triggers. In the counter structure we'll add pulse counter for pulse counting. In the counter update function you can comment these lines and add the following pulse counting line. For every zero crossing when we hold the key the counter will go up, go down. In the counter init you can add pin setup for the buzzer if you decide to use one. This is a shortcut for using the buzzer. Add the complete procedure to reset pulse counters as seen here. Another complete addition is the procedure seen here. It will be called every quarter of a second. First we'll copy counter states in these two variables. If either one is higher than 4 we said above, proceed. Check if enough time has elapsed since last key press. If so, do turn the buzzer on. Buzzer beep 1 function turns it on and also off after a single beep. Next we reset put counters and set the stop time 3 seconds in the future. The next line prevents times when variable might overflow at the top of 32 bits. While 1 and while 2 we hold rally states. If either one is on, this means the shutter is moving and our intention was to stop the movement by powering relay off. Execute command power does this. If relays are off, we want to trigger movement. Here we have to check which key was pressed and simulate the right button press for the right relay. We do this as a simulation of pressing a button. See the SRC button as the source, just as above. We finish by turning the buzzer off. In the counter every second comment out all lines or delete them as we only need counter reset, which we have to add. Comment counter save state as we have nothing to save. We will also modify counter show as we have nothing important to display or report back. The only urgent thing is to display author's name. But just after you satisfy your urge to subscribe, like and share this video. The free procedures and functions below may also be omitted as I have found no use for them in this Tuya's shutter module. And the last thing to add is a case call in the XNS01 function. Add these three lines. It is a call to a function we have discussed above. Follow the commenting out the lines here. We have nothing to report and nothing to save. At this point find under the terminal the run task option. Find one of the useful commands like clean, build minimal or build tasmota. Both builds will come handy in next chapters. Flashing. For the software part of flashing I will use 
ESP Easy Flasher. First plug in device in one of your USB ports. Run flash ESP A266X file. The firmware file which is in the same folder is automatically found. Select it and click flash. At the end it will report back flash complete. That's it. How to find an IP address? On my Windows machine I use advanced IP scanner which is free. It is simple to use. Click scan and find a device with the name starting with Tasmota. On the Android phone I recommend Thing. You can change the name Tasmota and I will show you in the chapter starting now. Setup of newly flashed device. So let's see what we have to change in Tasmota when we upload the new firmware. Go into configuration. Under configure module we have Sonoff Basic at the moment. Click the configure template. First let's change the name to Shutters. If we do not use GPIO we select none. So GPIO 0 none. GPIO 1 – None. GPIO 2 – Has a button 1 on it. GPIO 3 – None. GPIO 4 – Has a buzzer connected. GPIO 5 – Is connected to an AC line. GPIO 9 – None. GPIO 10 – None. GPIO 12 – Is one of our counters. Select counter 2. GPIO 14 is counter 1. GPIO 14 is connected to a relay 1. GPIO 15 is connected to a relay 2. GPIO 16 none. And ADC is none. Save the template. Device will have to restart. When it restarts, go into Configuration – Configure module. Select newly created shutters module and click Save. Device will restart again. This might take some time. More than a few seconds. Now go into Configuration – Configure module again. You can see everything is correct. Let's fly over other settings. These are my logging settings. Sparse logging. I prolong even telemetry period. Now click Configure Other. Select appropriate names. As we need only first name, I add a letter B to the other name, which is the same. Save settings and wait for a restart again. Now here are the most important steps to make. Let the Tasmota know we want to use shutter functions. Under console we'll enter some commands. The first one is set option 81, which means enable blinds and shutters support. Next one is shutter relay 1, 1. Followed by a backlog pulse time 0, pulse time 2, 0. Backlog only means we are joining commands in a succession. You can write pulse time 1 0 first and press enter and follow it with pulse time 2 0. Next combined command is backlog interlock 1 2 interlock on. See I've made a mistake but it still works. If you go back to first page we can see the module works. Only one relay can be on at the time and it will switch on according to assumed position of the shutter. Mind we have not set any information about the specific shutter yet. Now we'll set specific information. Enter shutter open duration 1 followed by the correct time in the seconds it takes for the shutter from fully closed to fully open position. In my case 23 seconds. If it takes 23.5 seconds just use a period mark. Now also enter shutter closed duration 1 in the same way. Now you can check if the enter numbers are right for you. And this should be all. Shortcut for GPIO pin selection. In the configure other 
you can paste the template, which you can find in the description below. Don't forget to check activate checkbox and click save afterwards. After restart, follow the steps from the last chapter. How to upgrade existing Tasmota firmware? Click firmware upgrade. Click choose file. Find and select the Tasmota bin file which is compiled as minimal. Emphasis is on minimal. Click Start Upgrade and wait for it to finish. Check the lower left corner of the video. When the device restarts, it reports it is a minimal version and that you have to upgrade. So repeat steps again, but with new and latest firmware you have made. At the end you will have your new version. Real Life Application Here you can see my old setup. I have used Hope RF 886 MHz modules with microchip Mega 328. When designing my house, I've pulled 4 wire cable to every in wall box for home automation. I will not need it in this case anymore. The blue wire floating in the air is antenna, and the two white boxes in the front are relays. I will dismantle the old module and take care of the wires. I almost always work with live wires, but not because of extra thrill, but because I need to know the function of each one. I put them one by one into this new Tuya module. Here I have to mention I use push buttons for inputs, not toggle switches. Now let's check if everything works. If I push the down button on my tablet, the shutter goes up. Whoops! That's not good. This confirms that I should do a test montage before I shoot the video, but as I do all the work myself, this should suffice. So this is the place I ask for your support, so I could afford additional help. Please do hit like below, share and subscribe, buy me a coffee and become my Patreon. Donations are surely welcome. So the solution to my mistake is to switch wires between S1L1 pair and S2L2 pair. That's what I'm hiding behind my left arm. In a recap, to avoid this mix-up, remember the first SL pair is for up and the second SL pair is for down. Let's check the tablet again. Up is up. Down is down. Conclusion So, this was a simple and fast Tasmota code modification to use on Tuya modules dedicated to shutters. I have shortened the modifications as new versions of Tasmota come out every few days. The ideal way would be a separate code module which would use even more simplified code that I've presented. The solution running inside the main loop and counting zero crossings would interfere with the execution times of Tasmota. Some of you don't agree. If so, do comment below and present your solutions. I hope I've given you something to think about. See you next time!